Hello friends, today I will show you how you can make a face recognition system using OpenCV and Python. So, as you can see, once you run the code, which will be down in the description, as you can see, it will recognize all the images you will have in the database. So, as you can see, it currently recognizes me and it knows my name. And in my database, I have mine alongside with Elon Musk's image. So, as you can see, uh, when I put it up, it recognizes Elon Musk as well. But on the other hand, I do not have Bill Gates's image on my database. So, as you can see, when I put up an image of Bill Gates, it will show unknown because well, it does not have the images of uh, Bill Gates in its database to compare from. So the way this works is basically it will convert the image it gets into each frame. So it will take each frame as one separate image and it will convert it into uh, several blocks. So blocks are basically a, an, a little square of pixels on the screen. It will convert, uh, it will tr then uh, like compare the each block of the image of the like the face it detects each block of the face with the known library of faces and if it does not find it matches with any it will go ahead and it will uh, it will say that it is unknown image now how do you tell it well in the description if you look you'll find a folder with the these uh, files in it so as you can see here we have obviously the main video this is the main file you want to run this here is just a dependency this is not something we need to run same with this so also a dependency which the uh, main file uses to run but here you'll see the images folder so in here as you can see i had two images elon musk and of myself so these two images so it knows these two people only so you'll have just have an image with the person and the name of the image will be the name of the person so this is the name it will take so you can have infinitely many pictures so for like let's say you are like in an office or something like that you can have all your employees and if it gets like a different person it will send you an alert so basically you can have the images in there and once you run this main uh, file video.py file so i am using pycharm instead of the python ide because it's i feel like it's simple a bit better and it's more has more features so but before you can run your code you have to first get the cv2 uh, library so this cv2 library is something that you can easily get from our uh, pip command so as you can see here you will click python packages down here if in the python uh, the pycharm ide so you don't have to use pycharm necessarily it's just con more convenient so you'll see down here that i have uh, the uh, open cv installed so the second one simple face rig that's coming directly from the other two files i showed previously which were the dependencies so those two are fine so you need your open cv python installed if it is not installed basically all you have to do is uh, go ahead and open up your command prompt so here i have one already open so you can just click on w plus r sorry w i mean uh, windows plus r you'll get this run command box so then you can click on cmd and click enter or click ok and it will open up your cmd now you can install uh, it by pip install uh, opencv dash python and as you can see it says that requirement satisfied which means it's already inside my uh, my uh, the site packages folders so you can also check it here in external libraries if you go ahead and click on site packages as you can see you'll see my uh, opencv it's already in there somewhere so you'll see it should be here um, yeah, there it is cv2 so yeah it's just already installed in my case if you just install it i'll, I'll leave this command down in the description along with the ins upgrade pip so if you don't have pip or it's old you, i'll leave the upgrade pip command down in the description as well you can use that first if it doesn't work directly now once you have done that your file should be pretty much ready you just ha don't you don't even have to change anything but just for your understanding so obviously here we're just getting this and from this means we are taking it from the pi uh, for the uh, pi file simple face rec from there we are importing this as a library now then here we are just loading the encoding images from this folder so images so this is because we do not have a directory here it means the folder where the main file is located same folder so here we have the images so if you just change the name of this to something else you can have change this name as well and it will work just the same now here we are loading the camera so here one thing you might want to change is this one so this is the video capture source so it goes from zero all the way up to how many ever cameras you have so for example in my case i have two cameras connected plus i have obs virtual camera as you can see i'm using obs for recording this video as well so 
because of that in my case the camera which I want to use comes out to be number one camera so I have it not set as number one you might have to experiment a bit depending on how many cameras you have but if you have just one camera and you do not have something like OBS virtual cam or many cam installed then you, it will be zero in your case because the zero is the first camera that the computer will detect next you will have here is the uh, reading the capture so we will read each frame of the capture then we will detect the faces first so we will first detect the face then we will find the face location and then we will uh, detect the known faces so as I said it will take the frame the red frame you saw the f if it will take each block so a specified number of pixels in each frame and it will compare it with the known faces uh, in the from the fa like the images folder then it will just uh, so it will take the faces name so the name of the files from in the and the, uh, from the f f location so where the faces are located then in here is just putting a frame uh, in the name here first so the above the rectangle and then it will take the frame and it will put the frame around the rectangle so the uh, red rectangle you saw that and then here is just telling it to show the uh, frame like the video feed uh, so here is the name of the video feed so as you saw in my case it was named as frame the up uh, part it was written frame so here is just the frame you can change this anything you'd like then here is just telling to uh, if this is pressed just to break this to close it now you can all do the same thing by just clicking the stop here or this so I, now i'll show you once more from the starting so i'll go ahead and clear everything in my run and i'll go ahead and start this so as you can see it will first load it now it will find as you saw it had two images so it will find the two images and it will start encoding them basically it's uh, quick it's uh, taking the blocks as i said and it is making it quickly available so it doesn't take very long for it to recognize the face as it has to do it in real time now as you can see it will open up the frame dialog box so not dialog box sorry the frame window this is your live feed coming from the webcam after detection so as you see when i come into the frame as you can see it shows my name which was the name of the image if i am correct yes if you go over here you see it's, this is the name if I change this to so anything, I, it, the same name will come up right up there. So that's basically it for this video as well. If you like this, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will be coming up with more uh, Arduino and OpenCV content very soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you next time. Bye.